My name is Dennis Colby and I've, I'm a high school science teacher. I've been using Classcraft for just a couple of months now in one of my classrooms and I was looking for a way to more rapidly and easily reward students or penalize students for just small things in the classroom without having to go through and record them as uh, major events. So I came up with this sort of this application that runs in Microsoft Excel. It uses some Visual Basic to um, program these buttons. Um, before I show you what this can do, I did want to point out that I, I do use um, the regular class craft method for, for, for major things that happen in class, like when students use cell phones in class or maybe um, have to go to the restroom or they're tardy to class. I do use the regular system where I immediately um, go to the presets and then you know the warriors can protect them and things like that. So let's go to this spreadsheet. At the bottom here I have four tabs and on the third tab is where I set up it's basically like a seating chart I enter all the students names in here these are these are not actual student names I'm sharing on here but here's where I enter their names and then it um, propagates them over to this other two tabs this tab is what I use for attendance and then the first tab is the one I have um, up most of the time during the the day and this is where um, I can reward students or penalize them as the class goes on so basically what happens is when the class starts I have um, this screen up right here and I'm taking attendance and you can see right here these zeros are spots where there's empty seats and there's this one student right here who is not participating in class craft so it records a zero there so that there there's no a points effect for them and when I take attendance say the student was um, not here today I would mark that I'll go like this and it marks that to a zero and maybe this student was there and marked them to zero so what this does is all the zeros will not be affected for the day for their um, class craft uh, experience or um, hit points then after I do that I go to this page right here I leave it running for the whole for the whole day basically up until the last maybe few minutes of the class period and right now what you can see is all the students have zeros because there's no effect on their class craft experience or um, HP and the buttons the main buttons are over here you can see what happens let's say um, this student right here Jane was doing something she answered a question or just did something positive in class so I just click on the plus and it gives her a one and it bumps her up to a one and then um, this you know this student maybe did something well um, this student was doing something they're talking while I was trying to um, lecture so I might go like that and you can see this is what happens is it's color coded so maybe this person did two things so green means they're going to be getting experience um, at the end of the day and the orange means they're going to be taking hit points of damage at the end of the day and zero means there nothing's going to happen to them but what happens most often through the day is I hit this button maybe the whole class is doing something well so I'll do this and they all go up by one and you can see what happens if they all go up a few um, what the effect would be. So it takes a while for a student to have to actually take hit points of damage. Um, so typically what happens throughout the day, you know, the class progresses and you get something like maybe this whole group was talking. Okay, so there's some points you can see there from there's some fours, um, mostly threes and a couple of zeros and um, well I could let me just take one of these down to a to a negative one. So let's say the class period, the, the day has ended. Um, well, what happens is at the end of the day, I go to this fourth tab, which um, basically is taking their names and propagating this list right here. And you can see their scores. Here's what their scores are here. This is if they're, their attendance and their scores. And this multiplies them together and grades it on, well, a 100 point scale. Um, and so here's their names all alphabetized. And here's their numbers, pauses, threes, zeros, twos, then there's a negative one. And it grades on a 100 point scale and it goes to the points of um, 50 would mean nothing's going to happen to them. But if they go above 50, every percent above is going to give them experience. And everything below 50, such as this 49, is going to do um, damage to them. So all I do is at the end of the day, I'll go like this and I hit copy. So this is alphabetized, and I and then I just um, I'll go over to the um, grade book like this, and I will and I'll type in 
daily work and I'll import it as a grade import like this and I just paste it and um, so I paste the scores in and then um, I can't really show you what the import looks like because this is not my actual class but if I hit check mark if you guys have done grades before you know if I hit check marks and it shows who gains um, experience and who loses health so you can see I'm basically using the um, the grade import ability of Classcraft and Excel spreadsheet to sort of do my daily rewards um, and just one other button I have here I could set all the class I could set all the scores to say three in the very beginning of the day um, so anyway I thought I would just post a quick video of this to give maybe give some of you guys some ideas of what you can do for Classcraft or maybe something they can implement into the program itself eventually